Hi, it's Steph and I'm back in my basement and I have for you today a Walmart Dahlia Tuber haul. Um, I went to Walmart recently and I noticed that they had all of their summer bulbs out and so I picked up four varieties of Dahlia Tubers as well as one bare root peony. So I'm going to share with you what I got. I have a variety of dahlias already and a lot of the ones that I had last year were in like soft pinks and um, coral colors, some orange. And so this year I kind of went the route of adding some more pinks so that I can kind of mix them and make bouquets throughout the summer. Um, I love doing that in the summer. At first I kind of had an issue with cutting my plants down. I don't know why, but I, um, if you're like this, leave a comment below but typically I don't like to cut the blooms in my garden I don't know why um, but you know what happens when you cut dahlias they grow more dahlias and you get a ton so the more you cut them the more they grow and the more blooms you get so there's some news you can use so definitely cut your um, dahlias frequently because they will continue to produce more buds and more blooms um, so these only have two tubers per pack, which is perfect. I did what I had um, shown you in the last video where I had bought a couple of packs of um, Dahlia tubers at Home Depot, where you basically want to first, the first test that I do is I pick up a couple of packages and I go by weight. The package that feels a little bit heavier or more substantial tells me that it's likely that the tubers are nice and plump and not dehydrated. The next thing that I do is I kind of look at the tubers. In this case, the packaging is clear, so it's easy to tell. Sometimes the package is dark like this and it's harder to tell. So what I do is I look at the tuber and I inspect for any signs of mold or shriveling. If they look nice and plump and firm, there's no signs of any mold um, growing, uh, then it seems like it's gonna be a good package to pick up. Sometimes they even have eyes or shoots already growing from them, and that's even better because you can see that there's active growth on those tubers. So Crim de Cassis um, is one variety. The other one that I picked up here is Dahlia Lavender Perfection. And this one looks really pretty. It looks like a light purple pink. It looks more pink to me than purple. I'm gonna try to find some pictures online to insert, um, but it also looks very pretty. It grows 36 to 48 inches. And it says that um, it, the light is full sun. I do plant these in full sun. Uh, I do think that some dahlias can be planted in a part shade situation. It might affect the number of blooms that you get, but I'm sure you'll still get plenty. These are a little bit later bloomer. For me, I don't start getting dahlias until mid late July, and then they bloom all the way until the first frost. So I had dahlias blooming through October last year, which is amazing. Because at that point, most of your perennials have kind of petered out. Um, my knockout roses are still blooming at that point, but also the dahlias, which is really nice. So this variety is called Lucky Number, which uh, looks like a light, not light, but like a medium fuchsia pink also, which is pretty. So Lucky Number and Fern Cliff Illusion. I've grown this one in the past. Um, a couple of years ago, I made a video about the Walmart dahlias that I had bought and how they grew and how they compare to the photo on the package. Because if you've ever bought these bulbs that come in these packages, you know that there's a good chance that it's not going to look like the picture. So I wanted to kind of experiment with that. And so I made a video of the tubers that I had bought from Walmart and what they looked like compared to the photo once they grew. I'll link that video here for you to check out if you're interested. So these are the four dahlias that I bought. So the Fern Cliff Illusion, which is this white with the tips of purple, a little bit of yellow in the center. The Lucky Number, which is a medium um, fuchsia pink. The Lavender Perfection, which looks more like a shade of pink versus lavender, but also very pretty. And the Cream de Cassis. I believe that the Cream de Cassis and this uh, lucky lucky number, they're more of a smaller uh, bloom, where the um, Lavender Perfection and the Fern Cliff, I believe are more what they call the dinner plate size. The dinner plate size blooms are in that like six to eight inch range um, bloom, and the other ones are more like a three to five inch range. Um, so. A mix of both will give you beautiful options for bouquets and for arranging flowers. And then this um, peony that I bought, peony, um, it's pretty. It's called sorbet, and it's like this light pink, ruffly 
uh, peony with a um, cream center. I have maybe like four or five types of peonies outside already, and, but I don't have this one. So I wanted to add this one to my collection. And when you grow peonies from bare root, they will take a few years to kind of get up to speed. You may or may not get a bloom this year. Um, you might just get foliage, but it does take them a while from bare root to establish. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to put these in some water. I have this salad container that I'm going to use for some winter sowing. Um, but I'm going to throw this in here for now just so that it can start getting uh, rehydrated because it's just sitting in some peat moss. And um, I'm going to pot it up in a pot with some potting soil and I'm going to just let it start getting some roots going. And then once the weather warms up this spring and I can work the soil again, I will work on planting this in a nice spot. Um, so when you have these green packages, it does make it a little bit more difficult to inspect the tuber. But what you can do is you can hold this up to the light and you can see if there's any shoots. And in this one, the lights, the fluorescent lights at Walmart are pretty bright. So I held it up to the light and I was able to see that there are a couple of shoots on this. So when I open this package, we're going to see together if I was right. I'm pretty sure I am. But we'll see. And so I'm going to soak this for a little while and um, and then we're going to plant it up together. If you want some dahlias and you don't want to spend a lot of money because you're new to dahlias, um, definitely go to Walmart. Look, these are, you know, and these used to be five bucks a, a, a package. Now they're five forty two. It's still relatively cheap. I mean, if you buy these online, you're paying that for, you're paying more than that, maybe double that for one tuber plus shipping. Always amazing to help small businesses. But if you're not willing to take that risk because you're new to growing these, this is a great way to try. Someone told me that Aldi also sells um, Dahlia tubers and I haven't bought any at Aldi yet, but I'm going to be on the lookout for that because Aldi is actually kind of new to our area too. It's only been around maybe the last two years. Um, last year I was able to buy a couple of really pretty clematis, a purple and a pink one at Aldi. And so this year I'm going to be on the lookout for the dahlias and maybe pick up one or two more packs. Um, I'm going to be maxed out for space after these because this is four packages plus I got um, two at Home Depot. So I'm only going to allow myself to get maybe one or two. I'm going to have to really think about which ones I want to add and what will coordinate well with the ones I currently already own um, that are in storage and that hopefully make it back for another, another show. All right, let's get this in some water. Here's my bucket, Put some water in here. All right, and this is the sorbet peony. I like to keep these papers. I usually um, keep the cards that come with the um, bare root and I will document the date on the back of it that I potted it and that I planted it and I will keep this um, just for reference if I ever want to see how deep to plant it or when it should bloom or any other requirements about the plant you have that information available to you if you keep this card okay so when you open this just be careful because this dust or this peat moss will spray spill everywhere and I was right so this is a really good looking um, peony root. It has five eyes on it, six, actually more. Look how great that looks. Beautiful. So I'm really happy with this one. So always hold your bag up to the light to see if you can spot any of these shoots. Cause that's a good sign. We're gonna soak it. So we're just gonna throw it in this water and I'm gonna let it rehydrate for a couple of hours and then I will plant it up for you. So there we are, just gonna sit in this water. So our peony has been sitting for a couple of hours and now I'm ready to plant it. So I have this um, pot here that has, make sure you have drainage holes and I'm gonna put some potting soil in here. Just put a little bit at first because these uh, peonies have very deep tap roots or very deep, um, they're very deep, the root. So you want to plant them in the soil, but always keep the eyes above the soil level. So I'm going to place this in the pot to see how much soil I need to put in it. So I can add another scoop and then it'll be sitting a little bit higher. All 
All right, that's good. So I'm about right there with the soil at that point, and now I'm going to add my root in here. I'm going to nestle it into the soil, and then I'm going to add, finish topping it up with the potting soil all the way around. And I'm going to leave these eyes right at the top of the soil level. I'm going to keep this potted peony indoors and I'm just going to water it when the soil feels dry to the touch. Then we can, um, hopefully our peony has put out some roots and it's happy and we can then plant it in the landscape. It's all nice and potted and what I did was I left the crown of the plant above the soil level with all of the eyes sticking out. So you just give it a little bit of water. In this case, I'm just gonna let it sit in the water that I had it soaking in so that it can bottom water. It's gonna absorb this water and in about an hour or so, I will take it and I will move it to a sunny window to let it do its thing for the next few weeks. So thanks for watching my uh, Walmart Dahlia haul and my potting up of this bare root peony. If you found any of this uh, helpful or even entertaining, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.